Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you can believe it, I have an Abercrombie and Fitch haul for you today. I have a visitor today. We've got some birds outside and he is going nuts. So this is one of my little furry friends and yes, he's giant and he's not happy. He wants to go hunt. <laughs> Let's talk for a moment. I have not shopped there in over 20 years. And yes, I still have those memories of like the late 90s, early 2000s, where they had these poor young guys out there with no shirts on, spraying cologne as you walked by. Yeah, it was definitely a memory. But I saw a couple of YouTubers mentioning some of their summer clothing lines and I just couldn't resist. So I went in store, grabbed a few pieces, figured out my sizing, and then I made a large order online and just got it all in. So let's get right into the haul. First up, let's talk about this linen blend shirt. It is a linen viscose blend. It feels just like a very soft to the touch linen fabric. It's very well made. This is one thing about Abercrombie I remember. Their quality has always been impeccable. It was just the styles that I kind of veered away from for several years. But this top is so cute. And I guess some would consider it a crop top, but if you can see, even even though I have a short torso, it's not really cropped. And I can raise my arms and it doesn't budge. So that is amazing. You obviously cannot necessarily wear a traditional bra with it. Um, I believe if you had one of those like true shelf bras that has like the really like wide set straps, you could probably get away with that. But I am wearing like a sticky bra for basically for all of these outfits, just for ease of sake. I don't want to change. Um, and I'm having no issues with it at all. It does have some pleating right here. It is really nice and really flattering if you can see that. It is not just bunched up fabric. It's meant to be that way. Then it kind of fits more like a corset style bodice, but it is not uncomfortable because the back is super stretchy. The back has a lot of ruching, so it's going to give you, um, it's gonna just forgive a lot, but it's also gonna give you plenty of room depending on your bust size and even on your waist. You know, I can pull it. I, I got it in a size medium, full price, $50. I do believe it's a fair price, but if you sign up for their rewards program, you can, uh, after you spend a couple hundred dollars, you instantly get a $10 coupon off. And I do believe they run sales periodically, so it's something you'll just have to shop with the site. Now let's get into the pants. Oh man, these are also a linen viscose blend. I'm wearing them in my true size medium as well. I am in love with these pants. They have them in uh, solids and prints, and I actually have a solid pair in a long, so I can show you the difference. But what I loved about them was even in the regular, they fit me perfectly. They kind of drag over the top of my foot. I just paired everything with uh, my Madrid um, Birkenstocks that I just got. They are in my latest shoe haul. I'll put a link to that for you if you haven't seen that, but you're gonna see these on repeat. But just wanted to show you with flats even how long these pants are. They have really side slit pockets that are so cute. The back I think is really flattering because it comes up higher and there's no pockets to add any bunching or anything. Full price, $70, definitely worth the money full price. Um, but you know, like I said, try to get a deal if you can. Oh man, these are lovely. And they do have what I would say is like a lining inside. And um, the lining is very soft feeling. It feels like a cotton lightweight against your skin. So you don't have the roughness of the linen. And it also provides just that extra layer. Abercrombie's jeans shocked me actually. I could not believe the amount of sizing, color, and style options you could get not to mention quality again. Now, of course, they do have a lot of what I call destroyed jeans, you know, with the big rips in the knees and whatnot that I obviously steered away from. That's just not my look, but if you're into that, they have a ton. But I was more interested in specifically these because they are a look for less for the A. Goldie jeans that have the asymmetrical um, button fly on them. I believe Good American's making them now, and actually you can find them at almost any price point, but I still like my jeans to be a higher quality. These are 99% cotton with just a 1% of, I believe, some elastane in it, just to give you the tiniest bit of softness and stretch. But these are the softest cotton jeans I think I have put on my body in years. I can't express how comfortable these feel for being that much cotton. 
full price they are $100 but again they are more of a look for less for something that costs upwards of $200 so you're getting the same look and a really great quality for about half the price I love the look of the asymmetrical um, line on this I think it's so fun they also again they are called curve love and so they have their regular line and their curve love line meaning curve love and I kept the shirt on just to show you that it comes up higher it has more of a cinched in waist so you don't have the gapping that you normally would if you're more of a like an hourglass or a pear shape and then they kind of come out a little bit now these ones I can't believe it I even have extra room right here which I almost never do even when you buy the curvy jeans so I got the size 29 in long because I wanted to show you the length when they say long they mean it look at the ins or excuse me yeah the inseam on these I'm wearing pretty high like two to two and a half inch shoes and they are pulling over the top of that so if you need long jeans you can get them you can also get them in petite and regular length as well so you just want to check the inseams when you order I'm so impressed with the quality of these and i think i'm going to be ordering several more just to decide which styles and which colors i actually like this is a close-up of the asymmetrical line in case you didn't get a better view of that and the quality of these jeans they are just absolutely incredible I just I can't get over the fit and the feel of these so you know well worth the money for me especially if I can get a coupon and pay a little bit less or wait until they have a sale on their jeans but yeah if you're in the market for these style or even the regular button-up they definitely have them next top looks familiar it absolutely is it is the same exact print as the linen pants that I just showed a few minutes ago except it is a cotton and polyester blend fabric so yes you could technically wear them together but I've tried it it's a lot <laughs> and the fabrics are a little bit different the size medium full price it is $50 again I said it is a cotton and polyester blend but what I'm finding is they actually line their tops which I love they're lining most of their clothes actually and this is says it's hundred percent cotton so most of the fabric that touches your body is actually cotton which is great for hot weather breathability all of that I think that it lays flat against the chest so there's not a whole lot to worry about there and I'm not noticing any slippage because it does have elastic on these cute little sleeves they do stay up a lot puffier because they are, are that poplin cotton type of material so it does have a little bit more of a stiff uh, fabric to it. It is fully ruched right here in the back at the um, back side so it definitely allows for different sizes. I think if I lifted my arms you don't see a whole lot so I do love that about these tops the way they are cut. You can move very freely without feeling like you're exposing yourself and I think it's a, a nice little lovely addition uh, to any high-waisted pants or shorts that you might have in your wardrobe. I think it's really cute and well made. This dress is probably my favorite piece from the entire haul. I actually found it in store wearing a true size medium. I paid $120 for it. It does come in a solid color option, but there was something about this beautiful, just toned down floral that is in neutrals and browns that I just fell in love with. I feel like it's almost the opposite of what you're seeing everywhere else right now. And there's just something beautiful about it. So, of course, you are obviously in sticky broad territory. It is extremely low cut in the front, but with the back tie, which I'll show you the back, it also has more of an open back. It does have a zipper so you can get into it easily, and that's what allows it to have that kind of uh, fluted feel to it. But then it also is ruched here, so it does give you some room, especially for your bust. And then it has the tie here that helps hold everything up and together. So you don't feel super exposed. Now I'm going to show you when I dress this down a little bit, um, other ways that you can mitigate this or maybe make it a little bit more conservative if you need to. But I think this would be a, just a gorgeous dress for maybe a daytime or a little bit less of a formal wedding. Uh, you could wear it as a wedding guest. I just threw it on with some nude um, heels that I have and my little 
envelope purse that I grabbed at Target a little while back in one of my hauls. And I feel so feminine in this dress. I feel just like I could show up at so many events and feel really put together. I love how it fits. Um, I think it's a really great dress. It's very flattering. And it is also completely lined with a uh, cotton lining as well. So you don't have to wear shapewear if you're comfortable not wearing that. And I, overall, I just think it's a lovely fit. And it was a surprise find for me. A couple of quick changes can make this dress look drastically different. So I actually used a bodysuit I'll talk about it in a second and I stuck it inside the dress so I'm wearing it so you can see it creates a little bit of a paneling there and you could go as wild as you want put like a really pretty brown one in there something a little smaller whatever works for you I threw on a jean jacket and then again threw on my Birkenstocks which um, I could easily swap out for any of the Walmart shoes as well but I just threw them on because I liked the brown with this dress and here here you go you can just go grab your handbag and you're out for the day and that just makes like a really fun look then let me just show you the back quickly um, if you actually put the bodysuit on it pulls it up just a little bit in the back so that actually creates the ability to wear whatever bra you want so that would be something easy to play with as well this first piece I'm going to talk about is a bodysuit actually i did size up in it which i always do i treat bodysuits like i treat swimsuits um they're one piece i want plenty of length on my torso and in case i want to snap it then i you know want plenty of room for that and i don't want it pulling or tugging anywhere so again size large in that i love it also because it gives me a tiny bit of room here and it covers over anything here that you don't really want to show and it doesn't tighten everything up and you know make stuff pop out where it shouldn't i love the kind of higher square neckline i not the thicker strap so that i believe you could wear your normal bra if you wanted to you just have to play with that at home it does have a nice um kind of higher up back as well very very well made this is like what i call double lined where the inside feels the same as the outside so it's just very smoothing it doesn't show a whole lot at all and um, i don't even have mine tucked in or excuse me but I just have it tucked in really well and it's working just fine in that way uh, they're calling this a cream color but I think it's just a little bit more touch more like khaki or brown than it is cream but I love the neutral color and it's what I had underneath the dress now these pants I got in my true size excuse me I keep calling them pants they're shorts they are black and they are a linen uh, viscose blend primarily linen they have don't exactly have lining no they do they have lining inside so that's good so again it has that softer feel it doesn't feel like I've got that rough linen against my skin and that's just wonderful and I love the length on these they feel like more of like a Bermuda short um, they almost feel a little bit more formal than your typical shorts and I love that because I'll style them in a minute with several things um, you can just wear them a lot more dressed up if you wanted to with a pair of shorts and they do have a little bit of pleating very similar to the pants that I showed earlier but again it's just two very simple pleats and if you get the right size then I think that they lay nicely they don't puff out or add any you know extra bulk around here and the rest of them fit like trousers they have the button the zip they have uh, little holes for your belt if you wanted to belt it so I just think these would be a lovely lovely addition to anybody's summer wardrobe I think that they are a lovely length to wear with blazers so just play with whatever kind of summer weight blazer that you have in your closet I think that's great I actually recently picked this up at the loft it's in an upcoming haul so here's a preview but again I just threw on some nude little like sandal heels and a clutch and you know you're good to go and you could mix and match this you can make it as colorful as you want depending on what you've got play with hats and accessories but I just wanted to show you the idea of the length of these shorts and how easily they could be dressed up or down uh, these basics I threw on those cork Jack Rogers shoes uh, just to kind of show you um, what these look like styled with other things and then I just threw on a jean jacket you could just as easily put a white or a black or a colored jean jacket on with it and a hat like usual and you're ready to go for the day 
This next pair of pants, unfortunately, is a fail for me. Now, if they look a little familiar, it's because they are supposed to be the exact same pants as these beauties that I tried on. I even double-checked the SKU number and the price, and they are right there. But unfortunately, they are not the same pants. <laughs> so I will show you what they look like though because if you do get the correct ones, they can be really beautiful. And they are coming through a little bit brighter on screen than they are. They are a little more muted than what you're probably seeing. But I wanted to um, just get a second pair because I love those so much and I also wanted to try the long. So I went online and I ordered the long and I, you know, they could be amazing, but I'm noticing several differences. One is in the long, the inseam is actually not that much longer. I would say maybe an inch at the most longer. Um, so I am wearing flats and you can tell it's dragging the bottom a little bit. Um, but if I have them pulled up to where they need to be so that they're not sagging in this area, they come up so high. So if you have a long torso, these might be the thing for you. I do not. So they are hitting me literally at my ribs. And so they are creating a little bit of a different look than I think the other pair does on me. But unfortunately, these are, even though they're the same price, supposed to be the same pants, they are not lined. And that was what sold me on those, is just the quality and the lining. So I don't know if it was a mistake or, I don't know, honestly, but I just needed to let you guys know that these, for some reason, in the medium long, $70, do not have the lining inside, they are unfinished. And so you can see the seaming, you can feel it, and it's definitely a rougher feel than the other pair. So you just keep an eye out for that. The other thing I wanted to mention quickly is that this waistband is completely different than that waistband. It looks the same, but it's probably an inch or two smaller. So I literally have to like shimmy and wiggle and do all these crazy things just to get these over my sides and my thighs, even though they have a stretchy back just like those. Once I get them on, they fit like a glove up here, but getting them on was impossible. <laughs> this dress is so lovely. It is a white cotton uh, poplin dress, but it does have a little bit of polyester on the outer layer, um, but it's just a really nice poplin kind of material. It is fully lined with 100% cotton. It is lightweight, breezy, easy, uh, $90 full price if I haven't said that and I got it in my true size medium it does come with straps however so if you're very uncomfortable with a strapless dress this is very convertible and can be used in multiple ways for however you need it it does have like some boning in the side here so it does keep it up which is very important to me it also has like that sticky material kind of stuff just like if you had a strapless bra it has a little bit of that here that sticks against your skin so that keeps it up as well and this is what I love about this dress is that the way it is cut a tiny bit looser and it goes up higher it's so much more flattering than some of the lower cut ones or the ones that cut in here and create a worse problem here so if you've been scared away from strapless in the past this type or style might be a really good look for you this also has that kind of folding over effect, which is very flattering on the bust, very similar to the white top that I also featured. And because it has that like umper waist, it doesn't feel like overly dramatic or like it's showing too much. Um, and the back, and here's where you can see it does have the um, straps that come with it. It is fully ruched, so it's very flexible for sizes if you have different size bust or um, if your stomach is a different size as well, um, or if it just grows and moves through the seasons like mine does. <laughs> it also has pockets, and again, because it's fully lined, you cannot see the pockets through the fabric, so I love it. You don't have to wear shapewear underneath it because of how it flows. I'll back up and show you. It is a very long midi dress on me. Again, if you're very petite, it would almost be a maxi. So just showing you my go-to, I just swapped out the shoes. I put on the Birkenstocks that I have with the big gold buckle, threw my hat back on, and I chose the faded washed uh, black jean jacket to throw over it. Uh, you could easily throw your blue jean jacket over it just as well. Um, but I just thought this was just a fun kind of different look. I'm really digging this jacket right now as you can see. Can you tell I have a thing for this uh, pattern this season? 
So this is again the cotton polyester blend. So it is the exact same fabric as this top. So if you wanted to, you could buy the two piece set and um, you could definitely wear it, but I would say that that's a lot of flowy, fluffy layers because this top kind of blouses out and this skirt kind of keeps going. It almost looks like a little layered dress. So it's definitely a look. Um, it was just a lot for me and I think I would break it up personally. So I went ahead and did that. And let me just toss that to the side. I styled this skirt with just a uh, white tank top I got last season from Anthropology, and of course my tried and true jean jacket. And then I threw on again, just some um, slide style sandals. Any of my Walmart ones would work as well. Um, just to kind of keep the look casual. I also like to cover up a little bit more on the top half if I'm gonna wear something super short on the bottom half. Um, but it isn't too short and it does have a little bit of a high low if you can see that. Um, again, it's my true size medium and it was $50 full price. I do think the skirt is adorable. It's very easy to wear. It um, just kind of is one of these elastic waist, very forgiving, very roomy. So if my weight kind of fluctuated throughout the season, it wouldn't really matter. You can also pull it down a little lower or higher. So that's really good about the skirt as well. It does have, I uh, believe, lining inside. Yes, it does have that cotton lining underneath as well. So you don't have to wear shaper if you don't want to. I think it's just a really cute, fun take for summer. And um, for those of us that really, really struggle with shorts, um, I, you know, I on average own maybe two pairs of shorts because it's just so hard to find a pair that fits my body type. I think that these are a good answer. And so that's why I'm leaning more into them this summer. And I have a few more that are upcoming in my next haul that you'll see uh, next week that um, I think you're gonna love as well. But for just a cotton poplin blend, I think this is a great option. They did have solid color options as well. So you could mix and match if you have fun tops or if you wanted a solid top and then put the printed, you know, I think it's a good look as well. These are called their Traveler's Shorts. Now they did come out with a new like workout line that I'll talk about in a minute. I did get one of those pieces, but this is called their Traveler's Shorts line. And um, they, I believe they have about a three inch inseam, but I think that's relative because they, they have a longer inseam in the middle, but I feel like they come up a little bit on the sides. I'll show you in a minute. They are $45 regular price. They are not lined and um, they are very lightweight. I believe they're like a polyester elastane kind of a blend. And um, I, I actually kind of like them. I'm a little leery of the length, but I just put them true to how I would wear them right now. Um, I paired them, this is actually a Lululemon top, it's just an all time favorite, and um, an Athleta belt bag, I guess you call them these days. And then, I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but these scrunchies, this is just how I would really look. These scrunchies are from Lululemon as well. And you know, it seems kind of extra to buy scrunchies from a place like that but I'm telling you they're golden. So I might do a Lululemon video in the future. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to um, see what my Lululemon collection is and how I feel about all the pieces. But let's get back to these shorts. <laughs> For $45, um, I think that's a semi-fair price. The, the, the cut is nice. Uh, the pockets are beautiful. I think there's no pockets on the back, which I actually like because it doesn't add any bulk or anything. They do have a small slit on each side, um, pretty standard just for the look of these kind of shorts or if you're exercising and moving. I think they would be a great pair of shorts to um, just be out and about in. I wouldn't say that I would be super comfortable like doing an actual workout class in these because I feel like if you moved your legs, you might show a whole lot more than you intended to because there is no lining or no like built-in anything underneath. But if you're just kind of doing this like sporty casual look or, you know, kind of going on a minor hike or long walks, things like that, I think that they would be just fine. This pair of shorts, unfortunately, is gonna go back for me, but that's user error. This was the one pair of shorts that I did not go in my true size. I went up a size to a large thinking that because they were shorts, I might try a larger size and they might fit better. Unfortunately, they are not fitting better. Um, these are the new YPB line, which means your personal best. And it says that they are sweat wicking, lightweight and breathable. And I agree with all of these. They are a polyester elastane blend. They 
they have so much potential. So they have a very wide elastic waist that fits really well here for me, but it is a little bit on the lower looser side. Um, and it does again have a secondary tie that you can pull them in and really cinch them in to get them to fit the way you want them to. And the beauty of it is they actually have built in biker shorts that um, stay where they're supposed to stay. And so they're not that true like built in underwear that gets kind of weird, but they're not the biker shorts that stick out either. It's like that perfect medium. So you have the comfort of the biker short underneath without like having to show them and make it look like you're wearing two pairs of shorts. But unfortunately, I'm going to just be real honest here. You can see the cut. When I got the large, the outside layer is just way too big and they're cut kind of rounded to fit your hips. But if you are, you know, if they're the wrong size, then they give you hips that you don't actually have. And I, I tried to like cinch them this way and pull from the back and there's just no fixing that. So I am going to go back in store and try the medium in hopes that this will go away and you know, that they'll fit a lot better. That does it for me for this. Abercrombie and Fitch for women over 40 haul. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it really helps you to take a second look at maybe this store and others that we may have sort of believed that we aged out of because I really think that um, retail overall is doing a huge shift. I think that every line is starting to think twice about who they're trying to engage and um, who is actually shopping these days. So I hope that you found some goodies. Let me know in the comments below what you liked best and if you'll be trying out Abercrombie. And until next time, I'll see you soon.